The rebels in Syria are up against a well-trained, well-armed military. The Syrian elite forces are led by the dictator's brother. So what do the rebels have? CBS News correspondent Clarissa Ward has been with the rebels twice recently, once in December and another time two weeks ago inside Syria. So Clarissa, tell us, what do the rebels have to fight back with? Well, Scott, the group that we were with, which calls itself the Syrian Liberation Army, had a very modest selection of light weaponry, Kalashnikovs, rocket-propelled grenades, also some very crudely fashioned homemade bombs. Uh, but they are desperate for more weapons. They told us their only funding comes from the Syrian diaspora. But because the supply is so limited and the demand is so high, the price of weapons has gone through the roof. They said that a Kalashnikov is about $2,500. That is roughly five five times the world average. A Kalashnikov being an AK-47, the standard machine gun that is uh, prevalent in that area. I wonder how are arms getting smuggled into the rebels? You were deep inside Syria when you were with them last. There are two ways. Some weapons are being confiscated from attacks on the Syrian army and are being bought on the black market inside Syria itself. And some are being smuggled through from bordering countries. But uh, at least one of those countries, the one I am in, is trying very hard to crack down on the supply of weapons to those rebels. The Saudi foreign minister said today that the arming of the rebels in Syria was what he called an excellent idea. Clarissa Ward, thank you very much. Reporting tonight from Lebanon. We notice this week is the anniversary of the Assad dictatorship. The current president's father took over Syria 41 years ago.